Life Cycle of an Applet. So far, we have discussed about the basics of an applet. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about applets' life cycle. The life cycle of an applet entirely depends on applet life cycle methods. Applet life cycle methods are separated into four stages, namely, init, start, stop, and destroy. Applets are executed when its life cycle methods are called by JVM. Now let's discuss on each method one by one. First one is init method. When the applet viewer is called, the init method begins. This is the beginning of applet's life cycle. Here, initialization of methods and variables take place. The init method is called only once in the life cycle. Next one is start. The start method is called after calling method init. Here, the user can interact within the applet. The start method may be called any number of times in the applet life cycle. Next one is stop. The stop method can also be called any number of times, like the start method. The stop method is called when the page is quit or the applet viewer is minimized, but it should be called at least once in the life cycle. The last one is destroy method. The destroy method is also called once, just like the init method. The destroy method is called when you quit Applet Viewer. It automatically performs any memory cleanup process. To understand more about Applet lifecycle, let's see an Applet program which is going to illustrate the working flow of Applet's lifecycle method clearly. In the upcoming lessons, we will discuss how to create and execute Applet in detail. After importing Applet and AWT packages, the class w underscore lifecycle extends Applet class and initializes integer count equal to one. An Applet begins with init method and ends with destroy method. The start and stop methods are used to call paint method. While minimizing and maximizing the Applet window, the start and stop method will run concurrently. In all the methods, we are going to print a value of count. In each method, we are incrementing the value of count by one. Hence, count value is also getting iterated. By minimizing applet window, it calls start and stop method respectively, and each time it increments the count by one. While executing this program, the working process of applet lifecycle method will be clearly understood. After executing w underscore lifecycle program, we get an output in Applet Viewer. Here, method init, start, and paint are already executed, so we get a count of one, two, and three respectively. If we minimize this Applet Viewer, then the stop method is called and given a count four. If we maximize this Applet Viewer. And then automatically start and paint methods are called and given counts five and six. Lastly, we are closing this applet viewer. Stop and destroy methods are called, and the counts given are seven and eight respectively. I hope you are clear with the concept of the working process of the applet lifecycle methods. In the next lesson, we are going to discuss how to create and execute applet programs.